Hey everybody, my name is Cynthia, this is Tiny Tech Talks, and today I'm gonna cover the basics of the Oxygen Builder, so let's jump right into that. First thing I want to talk about is the Oxygen Builder and WordPress themes. Now, Oxygen is a full-fledged site builder and it actually disables the WordPress theme system. Now, what does that mean? It means that it actually disables the standard WordPress theme functionalities, but this also means that once you activate Oxygen on an existing website, the theme, including any additional styling you made, will be gone once Oxygen is activated. To demonstrate what I mean with this is I have a WordPress website right here with some fake or dummy content. And as you can see right now, the 2021 WordPress theme is activated. We have a greenish background. There is some styling applied to images and titles. And if I go into my WordPress and activate the Oxygen plugin and we go back to that same post, you will see that all of the styling is gone. So the only thing that is left is the content. So be aware when installing Oxygen on a existing website as it will deactivate or disable your WordPress team. Even though Oxygen completely disables the WordPress team system, some people have reported that some functionality like putting a favicon or even featured images on posts and pages can be disabled if you don't have a theme installed. So what I recommend doing is installing an empty theme so you don't have to worry about updates and you still get to keep all of the good functionalities um, that are required to build a website. All right, so let's dive into the functionalities that Oxygen actually provides. And the first thing I wanna talk about is templates. Now templates is a neat feature because if we look at how most web pages are built or websites are built, we will see that some content often things like a header and a footer will stay consistent throughout the entire website or at least on multiple pages and that's actually what we can use templates for so templates can be applied to every single page or post or you can set them to apply to a specific type like the front page uh, only to posts only to pages and so on now on top of that you can have templates inherit from other templates so let's see how we can apply this in oxygen itself as you can see right now, I have set up three templates. The first one is the main template. As you can see, it doesn't inherit from any other template and it is set to apply to catch all, which basically means that it applies everywhere. So let's take a look what is inside. So inside this template, I basically have a header with a menu and then the inner content element as well as a footer setup and that's basically everything that goes into this main template the next template is a page template and as you can see this one will inherit the design from our main template and this one is applied to a single page and let's see what is inside of this one as you can see it takes over the header and the footer from our main template and then inside I have already added a section that has a heading set up um, so it has a background image and the title of the page that is being displayed as well as another inner content element that we can style separately for every single page and the last template that I have is a single post template again this one inherits from our main template and applies to every single post now let's see what's inside of here. So inside this template, as you can see, again, it inherits the menu or the header and the footer of our main template. And then there's a section inside with a heading and a text, which if I switch to a different post, you can actually see that this data will automatically or dynamically change because I set up dynamic data, which I will get to later in this video. Those are the three ones I have set up for this website. However, um, you might want to also add things like a generic archive where you can display all of your blog posts, for example, a 404 page template, as well as like a search result page and so on. Now that we have covered some basics about templates, let's look at what Oxygen actually has to offer in terms of elements and how you can build out the website content itself. So the first thing I want to show you are the design sets. Now, Oxygen already comes with a bunch of pre-made design sets that you can choose to either install when you 
first install oxygen so it will ask you whether you want to have a blank install or install a pre-made team or if you just went with the blank team you can actually still go ahead and use those design sets and you can find them under library design sets and then here are all the pre-made oxygen design sets you can check them out on the website to see what they include for now i'm just gonna go with this atomic one now it does include full pages but as you can see it also has the header and the footer incorporated now what i like to do is just go into the sections and elements and actually just go ahead and add whatever i need so let's say i want like a nice hero section i can just add this very quickly and then of course you can change things like fonts and colors to fit your look and feel so another cool feature is if you have an existing wordpress install with oxygen and you made a design that you really like and you want to reuse some of the components or elements you made with it you can actually turn that wordpress install into a design set and then import it into your new wordpress install um, to use it right there. Of course, there are also, as you can see, third party design sets. To just name a few, a big one is Oxy Ninja. They have Oxy Core and WooCore, which is specifically tailored towards WooCommerce. Then there's also Oxy Made. Um, they have design sets and a framework for Oxygen. Um, and another one is Oxy Extras, which has about 36 flexible components you can also use. So it's up to you whether or not you want to invest money in buying one of these. You can also, of course, just build a really nice website with everything that comes with Oxygen. So it's definitely not an obligation to buy any of these, but they can improve your workflow. Next to these design sets, there's also a bunch of different components going from basic components like containers and text all the way to dynamic helpers. And there's also this special type called composite elements, which are a bit more advanced elements that has been added later on. And these are marked by this little oxygen logo. Now, if you want to know more about all of these elements, then do check out the documentation of oxygen. I'm not going to go in do too much details about them right now in this video however i do want to show you the menu that or the options that every single one of these components give you so let's add a section and as you can see i have a primary and an advanced tab now inside this primary tab you can see the most used or the most important settings displayed per element and these also differ so if i add a heading for example you can see that the set settings on this primary tab are slightly different than the ones from our section there's also an advanced tab which will give you most of the options you will need and has an extension of some of the options that are giving in the primary tab so you can do a whole lot with all of these already now another cool feature about oxygen is every time you add an element they will automatically get an id and this is where you will apply your styles if you do not add a class let's set a color for example on this heading it will be applied to the this id so it is only applied to this element itself however if i want to make it more usable i can actually add a class let's say i add a class called section heading to it and I actually, since I already applied the red color to our ID, I can actually copy over all of the stylings and paste it into the section ID. And you can see right now, while the class is selected, that color is applied here. I can make a change. So let's put it into this blue. Let's also delete everything that is in this ID so it doesn't take over because an ID overrides the class. And you can see that this blue color is now applied. And if I actually add a new heading and I just apply that same class, it will take over that style. Another powerful tool, and I already briefly mentioned it before, is dynamic data. So if I click this heading, you will see that I get the option to insert dynamic data. If I actually click this and, for example, I want to use the page title to be displayed in this heading i can actually insert that you will see that it will generate a short code now let's take out the rest of this text because i don't need it and if i click out you will see that it automatically takes over the page title so a more practical example of using dynamic data would be to use a repeater and then use dynamic data to um, actually show all of your 
things like titles, authors, dates, and it just gives you a lot of flexibility. Now, if you build websites, you will know that responsiveness is also very important as most users nowadays will use smaller screens to visit your websites. Oxygen provides a way to see what your website or what an element would look like on a smaller screen. So if you just select a element and then go up here to the top, you can actually see that there are multiple options for some of the most common breakpoints or common screens. And you can go ahead and make sure that all of your elements look good on smaller screens as well. If not, you can always go ahead and for example, set it to a smaller font size um, if this is too big. Of course, you can also use more responsive units like uh, EMs or REMs or view width or view height. You can also choose none and then use a clamp or a calc function if you're familiar with these things. So again, a lot of flexibility here in Oxygen when it comes to responsive design. So another neat feature and something that I do use a lot is global styles. So the global styles can be found under the manage tab and then settings and then we'll give you the global styles where you can set up global colors, you can set up fonts that will be used as well as specify specific font sizes for age tags or body tags. And again, the nice thing is you can use rem units or you can even use clamp functions or calc functions to accommodate responsive design without having to specifically change every single element. That's a really nice thing as well as you do have the option right here to change out the breakpoints for your responsive design. So it does offer you a lot of options and also within this manage tab we also have style sheets where you can just go ahead and add your own style sheets or CSS code that will be applied globally. So again, a lot of functionality, especially as a web developer, this is a really neat feature. The last neat feature I want to show you is called conditions, which basically allows you to display any oxygen element based on a condition or a set of conditions. So to demonstrate this, let's make this section only visible for users that are locked in. So I'm going to go ahead and set a condition I'm going to choose the user locked in equals true. So this will show the element if a user is locked in. If a user is not logged in, it will not be shown. So to demonstrate that, let's head into the front end. As you can see right now, I am logged in and I can see this space. So let's log out. And now that I'm logged out, as you can see, I do not have that section visible. So again, a really neat feature, which allows you to do a lot of stuff. So these features are for me personally, one of the biggest reasons that I prefer to use Oxygen Builder over any other builder. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to give it a like, share or a comment. If you want to know when I upload a new video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope to see you in a future video.